Good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Trish and today I'm going to be doing a very small end of year makeup declutter. Um, I have a lot of makeup that I don't want to take with me into the new year. This is not makeup I want to pan, use up, I don't like the style, the formula, something of it. So if you would like to see what I am going to be decluttering, just keep on watching. Alright, so to make this easy, oh, we're just going to go drawer by drawer, and this is my blush drawer, which happens to be the first drawer that I'm using. And to start with, the blush that I would like to get, one of the blushes I would like to get rid of is this MAC Blush in Melba. I got uh, this blush um, and never used it. This is just not my color. It is really too warm for what I typically go for for a blush. So this is one that I'm going to be decluttering. And the next one is I bought this um, Tarte like little blush sample kit this year and found out I only liked one of their shades. So I am going to be decluttering Captivating, which I have never used. I am going to be decluttering Delight, which is this one here. And I am going to be decluttering Charmed, which is this one right here. And the one that I am going to be keeping, of course, is Tarte Exposed. I do love this one. I should have just bought a full size of this and not bought the kit, but this is one that I'm going to keep. And that is all that I'm going to be cluttering of my single blushes. So I do have these. If you want to see a actual makeup collection, let me know. But those are the ones that I will be getting rid of from that. My next drawer here is my bronzers, my powders, and my face palettes. So the first one that I'm going to be getting rid of isn't even in there. It is the Marc Jacobs Tantalize Glow Face Palette. This has a highlighter, a bronzer, and a blush. And the blush is too dark, the bronzer is too warm for me, and this is too dark. So again, shouldn't have bought it, wrong color, but that is going to go. And for the rest of them, I'm going to keep in this drawer, so let's move on to the next drawer. So my next drawer is my single eyeshadows along with some NARS duos here. And the first thing that I'm going to be getting rid of is the Ulta Beauty Bouncy Cream Eyeshadow in Maple Pecan. It is like a cream formula. I do like the color of this, but this doesn't stay on my eyes. This I can put on and it'll look gorgeous for like three hours and then it looks like I'm not wearing eyeshadow. So going to be getting rid of that one. And the next one I'm going to be getting rid of is the Urban Decay Single in a Space Cowboy. And this is just too glittery. I'm oh, going to be 40 this year. So this right here is not something that I want to put on my eyelids. Not to mention, no matter if I use a glitter glue or not, this always falls down my face and it's not attractive. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. Another one I'm going to be getting rid of is the Kiko Milano Lost in a Mulfi Metal, Metal Chrome Eyeshadow. And that's this color here. This is just too warm tone for what I usually use. So I'm not going to keep that one. Just has my cat is saying hi. Hi, baby. Let's see here. Hmm gonna keep that one. So this is what I have left of my singles and my duos and now we are moving on to the next drawer. So my next drawer here that I have is lip liners, um, lip crayons, and of stuff of that sort. So the first one I'm going to get rid of is this elf. What is this? Natural stick it's 
too late for me. I got it because Arna Lane here on YouTube really likes this color. However, too late for my lips. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And let's see here. The next one that I'm going to get rid of is a Kiko Milano Sicilian Notes number five. Now this is a pretty bold color. I usually only wear reds and I do have a red lip liner so I do not need to keep that one. So I'm going to get rid of that as well. And then that is all from this drawer. So let's move on. Okay. So now I have a few eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to get rid of. Um, these are just old. I don't use them. I don't like the colors. There's a lot of different reasons that I'm getting rid of them. I will try to give you the Clipsness version, but let's go ahead. These are not in drawers or anything. So let's go ahead and get started with these. Okay. So the first palette I'm going to get rid of is the more The Morphe and Cherry Coke palette, it looks like this. It is gorgeous. I've used this numerous times and I love these colors. And my husband loves these colors on me. The problem is they stain my eyelids. So unless I want to wear the look for like two or three days, I don't use this very often, if at all. So this one is going to go ahead and go. The next one is going to be the I Heart Revolution and Fruity Pebbles. So this one is a colorful eyeshadow palette. I just don't use this. Sorry, the sun keeps going in and out, so if the lighting's changing. I just don't use this palette, so this one as well is going to go. This one I'm kind of a little bit sad about. Um, this is the I Heart Revolution and Cocoa Pebbles palette. This one is more of a neutral palette that I do love. Um, but this one, it's just, they don't stay on my eyelids. And I don't know if I have o overly oily eyelids. I always use an eyeshadow base or an eyeshadow primer, um, glitter glue even, and they just don't stay. I have no problem with other formulas staying on my eyelids, so I don't know what it is about this one, but this one's gonna go too. And man, I'm really hating on Makeup Revolution right now because this one is going to be my next one that is going. And this is the Batman and Makeup Revolution one. And as we all can tell, I love some Batman. Let's be honest, that's the whole reason I bought this. And this is a beautiful color story. And they are pigmented. They are gorgeously pigmented shadows but they don't stay on your eyelids. You can create a gorgeous look with this and it will just disappear. So this one again is going to go. Okay, so when I was clearing out my drawer over here, I found this baggy of stuff. I guess this was like last chance makeup. So I'm gonna go through this and go ahead and declutter it as well. There's some eyeshadow palettes in here, but there's also some singles. So just wanted to let you know. And the first thing is this L'Oreal Infallible Bronzed Taupe um, eyeshadow. This I never use. It's gonna go. The next is a Charlotte Tilbury and Chocolate Bronze. I liked this. I just didn't like it for a single eyeshadow look and I don't like the way it mixes with other eyeshadows. I do have another one in Oyster Pearl that I love. I just didn't like this color. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. Let's see here. Oh, this is the Lost and Amalfi uh, Kiko Mulatto Metal Chrome. So it's another one of the one that I already decluttered. This one was in shade number three. This one is in shade number four. And this is just way too coppery and orange for my liking. So I'm going to do glitter. And the Sigma Hazy palette. I have other colors of this that I like the formula better. So this never gets used. So that is going to go. The... Tart Love Trust and Fairy Dust palette. Gorgeous. Have other palettes that I use more. So that one is going to go. And this one right here is a Dentasha Denona. And this is, I guess, it's not the little one because, you know, it's about 
the hand sized one, if you will. And this is actually one that I created. It is called the Ayana, Ayana palette. Um, and this color down here was supposed to be a green. I took out the green and put in another neutral color thinking I was going to use it more. I don't. So this is going to go. And last but not least, I have the Kiko Milano eyeshadow stick. This one is in, I guess, number 46. It doesn't tell me. But it's in this really cool, like, purple duochrome taupe color. The problem is when you blend it out, that all goes away, and it just looks gray on my eyes. So I'm going to get rid of that one. All right. Emptied out that bag. Moving on. Okay, the last thing I'm going to declutter is this singles palette. Now, these over here are Viseart shadows. These here are Natasha Denona, and this one and this one are NARS shadows. I never use this single palette. I always pull for actual pre-made palettes, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this as well. And that is going to wrap it up for my quick end of year declutter. Let me show you what I am decluttering. Okay, and this is everything I am decluttering at my end of year declutter. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.